Hey everybody, this is my T-Bar Gudgeon tank, and tonight I was considering moving my rainbow fish. I've been talking about doing this for a while, I think I've made my decision on where I'm going to move them. So before I made any drastic changes, because I don't plan on, you know, acclimating them or whatever, I figure all my tanks are similar enough in, you know, chemical composition of the water that it shouldn't be that big of a deal to simply move them from one tank to the other, but... I try not to take things for granted and make assumptions, so I went ahead and tested the pH, and the tank they are intended to go in had a pH right around neutral, give or take, uh, right where I expected it to be. But this tank showed a really pale yellow um, coloration in the vial for my pH test, which showed that it was 6, but it didn't even look yellow enough to be 6. So I got out my actual pH meter, and according to my pH meter, the pH in this tank is about 5.5. So that seems really low to me. I'm not going to pretend I understand all of the hows and whys and wherefores and as far as how pH moves up and down. It does some weird things sometimes. I've seen hard water with low pH and, you know, soft water with high pH before. So how the pH in this tank got this low, I'm not quite sure. The pH in this tank always used to be higher than in my other tanks and I haven't made any changes or done anything differently uh, the only thing that I can say would be different would be the plants have grown in more so I guess there's more vegetation but that would have been something that happened over time and then of course as the fish have grown over time the bio load would have increased but I don't see how that would have made a huge difference uh, in the pH either so it's been a while since I've done a water change on this tank and I'm assuming that over time that pH uh, slowly works its way down. So we are going to do a water change but we're not going to do a massive one. I don't want to slam the pH back up to neutral if we really are all the way down at 5.5. So I'm going to take a few water samples. I'll run a few more uh, tests. I do have a second pH meter that I haven't used in a while. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one just to double check. Uh, I'll test some other samples of known uh, water like my tap water that I have set at neutral and of course my RO water which is always sitting right around 6.4 uh, so I can use my pH meter to test those to make sure that they are uh, accurate and if that's the case then I've got a really really low pH in this tank uh, like 6.5 I mean 5.5 5.6 somewhere around in there so I'm going to get on with it. Uh, we will do a before and after, but I can tell you uh, there's no wood or anything in this tank, so there's not a lot of tannins, and you know I'm not going to do anything else in there as far as plant removal, so the before and after is really not going to be a whole lot of anything. But for whatever it's worth, there's your before. And there's your after. So like I said, that was just a very simple water change. I did not do anything. I didn't wipe down the glass. I didn't even wipe down the outside of the glass when I was done. Um, I did do some testing while I was doing the water change. And just not to disrupt the flow of the video between the before and after, I decided uh, after I shot the video that I would go ahead and tack it on to the end. So from here we're going to go over and we're going to look at the before and after testing I did of the pH and the nitrate levels and we're going to have a little chat about that and we'll go ahead and we'll wind up uh, the video over there at my workstation. So thanks for watching and I'll see you over there in a minute. All right, well, here's a few comparisons. The vial on the right here is the tank water that we were looking at. I'm not going to talk about that tank just yet. And this is my tap water. So this is neutral. That's close enough. No problem. These are the black ghost, I mean, sorry, the uh, rainbow fish tank. And then this one is my RO water. And you can see that the RO water is not the same color as that tank water. And when I used my pH meter back there, I got pretty much right on. Uh, my tap water was coming out at 6.9, and the RO water, this vial here, was coming out at uh, 6.5. It fluctuates and bounces around if you jiggle the uh, meter around and swirl the water around it changes so as best I could tell we were looking at around 6.5 for my RO water which is close enough again probably falls within the margin of error of these uh, low budget 
uh, instruments. I'm, I'm not buying real high dollar scientific testing equipment here. This is, you know, a $10 pH meter, a $14 pH meter, whatever I paid for it. So it's fairly accurate, and apparently the water in the uh, rainbow fish tank is at least between five and a half and six. It's definitely below a pH of six. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the water change. Uh, I'm not going to do a massive one because I don't want to uh, bounce the pH around too much. Um, but we will go ahead and just go do that water change, and I'll do the before and after. I'll see you in a moment. All right, now here we are after the water change, and I didn't do a huge one. I did maybe a 20%, 25% on the outsidest if you account for uh, the rocks and everything offsetting some of the volume of water. Um, at the outsidest, we could call it a 25% water change, more like a 20%. Again, I didn't want to shift the pH very much. Now, these are our nitrates. Now, you can probably guess from the term before and after, uh, which one is which this is our before and believe it or not that's our after so we've still got that much nitrates in the tank after doing the water change I told you I can't remember the last time I did a, a, a water change on this tank and I know it looks lush and green and there's lots of plants in there but they're very slow growing plants and if they don't grow fast they don't take a lot of nitrates up out of the water very quickly so a lush green tank does not necessarily mean you're having nitrates sucked out of your tank at a rapid pace uh, proof positive right there this is our before pH. According to this little piece of paper back here, it's 6. According to my tester, it's about 5.7. So make what you want of that. Uh, according to this little piece of paper, we are up to 6.4. And I did not test it with my tester. So we're going with the 6.4. So we jumped from about anywhere from 5.7 to 6 up to 6.4 so that's a little bit of a bump up it's not huge and it's not that significant but remember if you're going to shift shifting upwards is always easier on the animals than shifting downwards so going from 6 or even 5.7 to 6.4 is not going to be that big of a deal um, for the animals so we're going to go ahead and just wind up the video over here I decided to do it differently uh, I will say on one last note uh, if you are like me, you will occasionally get done doing something like this, you'll get distracted, you'll get to doing something else, and you will just put it off and procrastinate, and lo and behold, you'll come down here tomorrow morning, and there will be your vials sitting there that you never rinsed out and put away. That's perfectly fine, except for the ammonia test. If you leave the ammonia test sitting there overnight, it will etch the glass. Uh, if you ever see those vials that look all white, on the inside that's from an ammonia test that's been sitting overnight it'll ruin one of your vials so if you leave your pH test out you leave your nitrate or your nitrite trite test sitting there and you forget about it and walk away uh, no big deal if you leave your ammonia test sitting out you've just ruined one of your glass vials so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe you never know what you're gonna get with me I've shot four videos today already I think so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any of them uh, don't forget we were just looking at my black ghost knife fish tank I'm sorry I don't know why I keep calling it my black ghost knife fish tank um, that is my t-bar and gudgeon tank so thanks again for watching I'll see you real soon in the next one